tonight and only in Rhode Island story you can be proud of. A battalion that's made history around the world during war and peace is being recognized in a way that is truly cutting edge. Highway to Sue's reporter Walt Buto has more in this week's Street Stories. Sometimes military history can be smaller than life. Alan Carrera's eyes are always looking for details. See, there's a lot involved. As he turns paper lines. There's a lot more detail to this. Into three dimensions on the other end of his bandsaw. But his 10-year military career was spent building much bigger things. Piers, bridges, buildings, you name it, we did it. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor prompted the Navy to create a military-trained construction battalion that would be stationed at the brand new military base in Davisville, Rhode Island. They became known as CBs, carpenters, pipe fitters, plumbers, trained to fight. Carrera was a CB in the 70s and 80s, although many of his replicas will bring you back farther. Handmade heavy equipment that truly paved the way around the world for the military. It is the history. It's where the CBs began. I hope to God the CBs are there with us. You know, it's part of our, our military history. And when the 2011 tsunami devastated Japan, the CBs were there to help rebuild. As they were when Hurricane Sandy took out entire East Coast neighborhoods. The CBs are there in the new wars, too. Which brings us back to Bristol and Carrera's latest creation. This will be an M1A1 Abrams tank that are under fire right now in Iraq and Afghanistan. It'd be like the hand model, George Costanza. <laughs> he builds them and ships them out to Davisville to join a growing brigade of history at the CB Museum. It's something that uh, will be there forever, long, long after I'm gone, I hope. It's an honor for me, and especially since I serve, and for those to see it and appreciate it, and it, it means an awful lot to me. Carrera would love you to see his work up close. The CB Museum is expected to open at the end of May. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.